Why do you have knives down here? What? Oh god, this. I don't. This is it, Russell. <laughs> this is the last thing you ever see. They come in a three plus four and a four plus three and only one color. So if you're looking for something to kind of match your gear, unfortunately, this is not <laughs> your best option. However, it is more of a neutral color. So it'll go with anything. Now it is around the $40 range and is a, a fantastic harness for the price. Now, just like, just like everything else in paintball, you get what you pay for. That guy. Back in Reload 108, we got sent this wonderful belt, which I want very desperately. It would be my greatest accomplishment in life if I were to acquire this belt. However, we haven't come up with a proper competition to uh, allow me to acquire this belt. We don't know what to do. We need something that everyone at Hustle can participate in and have an equal chance of winning. So, a lot of paintball stuff is kind of outright because Russell's kind of like really good at paintball and so is Cromer and I am notoriously not so that wouldn't be terribly fair to me or especially to Ben. I think Ben should have an equal chance of winning as well but we have not been able to think of anything to do um, so what do you guys think? What's, uh, what's something that everyone here at Hustle can participate in and potentially win this magnificent belt? Leave a comment or email us. Goes from gorgeous weather, blue skies, not a cloud in the sky, to this. It doesn't look like you have shoulders. Like your shoulders are like awkwardly, yeah, they're like awkwardly low, like way below where they should be. Like your real shoulders, like right here. But. Like a little, you're like a mutant, like a little help. Like, you look like a. Dude, wait, wait, do it. Am I uh, turtle enough for the turtle cut? Am I not turtle enough? Uh. For the turtle cut right now? Are you too turtle enough? <laughs> <coughs> get the. Oh, God. Stop it. <coughs> no, one more. Oh, spot. Oh, that's like an eight. <laughs> Solid eight on that one. Let's do the next one. The adrenaline's pumping. I could totally handle this. Oh, let's, let's go. I warned him too. I was like, dude, that one's going to hurt. Woo! Feels good. What a trooper. Next 
That one sucked. He's got this, dude. He's got this. He's all adrenaline rush. It's not gonna hurt. It's nothing. He plays paintball all the time. Shut up. <laughs> Mochi ice cream bonbons. Yeah, flip it over. They're gourmet. It's like mochi. Says how to pronounce it. I think. Mochi, pronounced mochi. It's a Japanese-style dough made from pounded rice. Mm. Um, from the samurai era to the 21st century, mochi has become a staple in Japanese sweets. I like samurais. I like sweets. So when we get back to hustle. Oh wow. Okay. Like, hey kid, you want a mochi? He'll be like, ah! holy. F they're big. Mochi! I thought they were gonna be these like no, dip and dot no, little they're, things. They're, they're, <laughs> they're these huge balls. Yeah, they're like, Dude, I have mochis! They, they should have a little bit of flour or some sort of powdering on them. I put the whole thing in my mouth? No, take a bite. Mochi! I don't know what the strawberry tastes like, but the chocolate's good. Tastes like I'm eating just cold flour. <laughs> Dash swore by the strawberry. He told me to, this is Dash, you work with Dash. I guess I kind of do. He said, if you get mochi, get the strawberries or the mangoes. I think it might've been the mangoes is what he, he was really going for. But I said, nay, nay, or whatever that guy says, I'm getting the chocolate. So I got the chocolate and I kind of want another mochi ball. I kind of want another mochi ball too. Pounded rice. Eat that pounded rice, Russ. You want waffle fries? If I got waffle fries from the truck, would you? <laughs> would you have some?